While most KU students had separate direction this summer, there will be a lot of work going into giving KU a much needed makeover. The University of Kansas set up a four-year schedule to bring significant improvements to Jayhawk Boulevard. The KU Endowment Association is aiming to raise $11 million for the renovation, renovations, which include smoother sidewalks with better curb ramps and improved drainage system, $1 million worth of new trees, which will be a lot like the elms of K that KU had before, and a proposed bike lane aimed to get cyclists in the middle of the road where they would be more easily seen. A lot of these ideas stem from what campus used to look like back in the middle 20th century, and this has a lot of students excited for what is to come. To me, uh, the new Jayhawk Boulevard renovations to me are really appealing because I'm a third generation Jayhawk. My grandpa came to KU, played baseball. My mom and dad both got degrees from the University of Kansas. And the renovations, it sounds like to me, is going back to what it was when they were here. And um, to have that idea of having the university as similar as it was when my grandpa was here is really attractive to me and really, really uh, appeals to me. Some people may have noticed the new design on Wesco Beach. This was not originally a part of the renovations, but the rest will help tie it all together. This summer's $2.5 million project will work to improve the portion of Jayhawk Boulevard from the Chi Omega Fountain to Poplar Lane, the street between Snow and Strong Hall. But Jayhawk Boulevard will be closed from Naismith, Dri Naismith Drive all the way to Sunflower Road. Work will start on May 19th and is scheduled through the first week of August. This has been Nolan Parker reporting for KUJH-TV.